click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about decision support system in a database management system. We will know that what is in DSS or decision support system and what are the issues that we cover in this decision support system. Our database applications can be broadly classified into two categories. The number one is transaction management, another is this decision support system. The transaction management is more concerned with the detailed data of every transaction that can possess with this database application. That means for a particular query, what are the items or the, what are the quantities that stored in that item, what is the cost of that item. This detailed data is known as this transaction management. As we know that transaction is a collection of operations grouped together to perform a meaningful task. That means whenever we are querying on something, that becomes a part of the transaction. But what is decision support system? It is the other hand of a database application. When we are talking about a decision support system or DSS, then we know that we are having the above all idea on a particular database application. So it is for the database designer or the application handler or say for the enterprise owner to take decision and they use this data or this DSS to fetch the data from our database application. So what does DSS need fully perform? It performs that the statistical analysis on a particular base on database application and then they fetch the data on some techniques so that they use this OLAP tools like this online analytical processing tools and other tools to fetch this data out of this database application. Now whenever the database application that they use can have the transaction management and now the detailed information of each of the transaction, how the transaction results, which transactions is aborting much and which one is successfully completing its task, it checks out and monitors all the status of the transaction, the query, the items or the attributes in this particular database. It also keeps take care of this particular tuple in the database. That means a particular record of some information on a particular item. For example, say there for an enterprise or databases, the lender of the information can of the gigabytes, it can be terabytes for even larger replications. Now what happens that if we want to see some statistics on this large amount of data, it becomes very hard to analyze this data as a whole. Now what this DSS do, it takes the transaction as a part of this database. That means transactions are the only way that we can connect to the database or fetch the data from the database. Now using the transactions, we can perform all the statistical analysis and based on these transactions that for which portions the transactions are greater in number and for which portions there are lesser number of transactions are a way for this DSS to decide to take a decision on that. Now, for example, say for a retailer information, the retailer identifier or the ID of the particular item is taken by a transaction. And now this OLAP or DSS tools use that particular data to statistically analyze that data that for which portion of data has been the most of the query or made to or which of the attributes on that particular database has been updated frequently. That means the data or that item on that attribute is being purchased or there is a drastic fall on that item. Say for an example, in the North of America, suddenly they draw that the optimization on that particular section, say for the flannel shirts, becomes higher on a query. 
that means the orders are coming in large quantities so the order quantity attribute is getting updated frequently and also they are increasing in nature so this much statistics is enough to decide for the system or the owner of that meal to decide that for the north america they should order and more type of inventories on this flannel shirts say for another example that a particular company notice that a particular sports car which is a small sports car is popular among young women whose income is above this dollar 50000 now by this category that salary of a buying person or a customer is particular range belong to then it can decide to focus only for that customers on that product so in this way the dss system helps for a particular database to meaningfully handle it that means when we are storing the database, that means we are storing it for a purpose. It is not just for storing the data so that we can look at that for a later time. It is that for the data that we are using, we can use that in a meaningful way so that the database storing has become useful. That means it is not like that we are only storing the data just for the storing purpose. We will see it for the statistical analysis purpose. We will see for the future relevance on based on a heuristic data purpose and all this. Now all this is supported by a DSS. The decision will be taken either by the database designer or by the company owner or the enterprise handler. Now the DSS covers many of the issues that we will discuss now. Now although many DSS supports for the SQL or other query languages, but most of the DSS faces the issue that it doesn't support it by the SQL. Now what happens that there should be another online analytical processing tool or the OLAP tool to handle the data minutely and to make the displacement of this SQL in this type of DSS. That means now using this analysis tool on this online processing. That means most of our current activities, whether to store the data in a database, fetch the query from a database, happen in online. That means several user can use a particular database simultaneously and may try to update the database simultaneously. So there must be an online analytical processing tool to handle this much data. Even if the DSS queries are not written in SQL, then also this OLAP tool can handle this problem. Now, if the DSS is SQL queried language written, then we can say that we can store the SQL and then run the DSS future tapped on this part of this SQL query. Now, whenever the SQL is performing on this DSS, that means we can store all the query based on a DSS and the same DSS can be used again and again and again, but the result will be different because the heuristic will change if there is any change on nature of a particular attribute of a database. Now, this issue is much more related with a problem issue with the statistical analysis process. Now the DSS should be supported by importantly this statistical analytical process. Now many of the DSS is not supported by this basic one, but some of the adventurous DSS has used this SAS or the statistical analytical system or S++. The systems are supported by this DSS. Now how does the system support it that the DSS first provide the transactions as the SQL query to the systems. Now the systems take out this query and as a result they form the numerical data out of it. That means the salary or count the number of products or change in the inventories. They either plan a histogram or they plan a normal pie chart or bar chart to see that what is the data or what is the attribute that is changing frequently or what is the attribute that has been drastically fall so that they can modify their business plan according to it. See whenever we are storing a database it is only for the business purpose that means to grow our business to communicate with the users more easily and also to serve the customers 
more frequently. So this can be supported by the DSS systems using this SAS or S++ like systems. Large companies have diverse sorts of information that they store in a particular database. Now, when this type of sources are accumulated in a single site, so it is becoming very hard for the database designer to accommodate all these types of sources into a single site. Say for an example that what this Trivago or the Suleka or any other com that we are using for a business purpose. Say it handles all the information from your tapping information to the jewelry information to the air flight reservation system to your maid information and all. Now all this can be handled from a diverse source of information. Some informations are coming from a rural background, some from a popular city background, some from an industrial background, some from a social background. All this type of information need to be accumulated in a single site. But using the database application, we cannot do that in a proper manner. So what we do, we do a data warehousing where we put every type of data in a single database. Now the data warehouse serves a purpose for serving the particular data to the user which they need from this data warehouse. Now the large companies use this type of information and this data warehousing technique to avoid the problem of the diverse sources based in a single site. Now the DSS also support the knowledge-based recovery system. Now when this knowledge-based recovery system based on a particular database, that means the database is serving to artificial intelligence. So it will automatically fetch the data from the database whenever there is a change in the data, immediately it will be compared with this knowledge-based recovery system. Now it will perform a statistical analysis on this data automatically by itself, we do not need to install another software to it. If the DSS is supporting this knowledge base recovery, then it will automatically update the database using the statistical analysis and then inform the database designer or the enterprise handler that this should be your plan that we change to do for a particular database or a particular enterprise. So it is a knowledge learning technique as well as a decision support system goes hand in hand with each other for the database application. Now these are the areas that the database system on the decision support handles but some of the broader classification like this data warehousing and data mining that we can mine the data from the data warehouse where we have stored the diverse sources are separated from DSS but most of the database applications handle the DSS using this data warehousing and data mining. So this is for a DSS on the decision support system which gives us the business plan or helps to take decision on a database. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.